Hey everyone, this is Lisa from Life in Layout and I am back with day number five for the March Madness Sketch Challenge with Scrap Now, Sleep Later. This is the sketch that we're going to be using from Pinterest and I'm going to be using this My Mind's Eye World Traveler. The photos that I'm going to be using are from the cruise that my mom and I took. We went to the Bahamas for her birthday and there was this statue of... Alexandria Victoria. It was such a beautiful statue and just the area was really pretty. So my mom and I were there and we took some pictures. I love these photos and there really isn't much to the story except the fact that we were visiting a historical place. So this sketch, while it's definitely not my favorite sketch, it's one of those layouts where it's like, you know what? The pictures are documented. I have them preserved and it's going in the layout. Obviously it's going to be in with multiple other photos from the cruise. There's not a whole lot to this layout which is probably why the video is less than seven minutes long. So really the sketch itself just calls for like two pieces of paper on either side. So I pulled out this world traveler from my mind's eye and I just kind of pulled out the pink striped paper because both my mom and I were wearing pink and then this like circle paper and my thought was we are standing next to these cannons. The circles kind of reminded me of like cannonballs. So I was like, I'm just gonna go with it. I am following the sketch pretty closely. I was going to add a four by six card or like a journaling card at the top there where my photo is, but I couldn't find anything that I liked. So I decided to just cut down two of my photos. I was gonna do a flip flap and have the three photos over on the right hand side. But when I couldn't find a card, I was like, I'm just gonna cut these two photos down and just make it work. Sometimes layouts come together and they are beautiful works of art. And other times they are just documented in the scrapbook. So there isn't really a whole lot of embellishments to this either. I did cut out this like blue paper. I think it's supposed to be like a map of like a city map or something like that. But I just wanted some like dark blue against that pink stripe paper over there and I used my tag punch that I got from Hobby Lobby to cut out a tag. I found these two girl meeples so representing my mom and myself and added that to the tag. I am using my new favorite glue. I am loving this adhesive glue gun whatever you want to call it. It's an amazing thing. So my title is just going to be you are here. I have this like big wood veneer that of course I dropped on my table but I have this big wood veneer that has you are here and I just put it over there on the right hand side. Now the title is supposed to go above that photo on the right but I was like you know what I'm just gonna put it over here. I also found these white triangles and I put those down and my journaling actually ends up being quite a bit so I kind of wish I wouldn't have put those triangles down because it would have helped with my journaling but again I'm just going with it. So as I look through my bling to try to find something to go up there in the top to kind of cover up that space which I find this like really large blue one I just want to remind you guys to go out and check out the Facebook group Scrap Now Sleep Later. Veronica is hosting an amazing challenge where we are getting our memories scrapbooked and that's really what it comes down to. If you join in on this challenge you can be entered in for a chance to win a daily prize if you complete the layout on a daily basis. You also have a chance to be entered in for a weekly drawing if you complete all seven layouts within the week and then if you do complete all 31 layouts by the end of the month you will get an opportunity to win a hundred dollars gift certificate for Close to My Heart. And it is a very sad day when we got that announcement last week that Close to My Heart is closing down, but that does not affect this March Madness Challenge. Veronica has picked out all of the prizes already, and while some of them will be Close to My Heart, not all of them will be. So even though it was very sad news, it does not affect this challenge. So I hope that you guys will join us over on the Scrap Now Sleep Later Facebook group. All right, so here is my final layout as well as some close-ups. Uh, as you can see, I did put my journaling on off camera and I really just kind of pulled from the internet the like historical information from this spot. 
All right, if you enjoyed this video, if you wouldn't mind giving me a thumbs up, I'd really appreciate it. If you haven't done so already and you wanna see more double page layout inspiration, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Thanks everyone for watching and I hope that you have a scrappy day.